Hello and welcome. My name is Hoshizora101, and we're back with another episode of Deus Ex Human Revolution. Now, in the last episode, I snuck into the hive bar to confront Monsieur Thong to find a find out about uh, von Bruggen's von Bruggen's whereabouts. And he was able to tell me inadvertently because you know I couldn't drag it out of him myself because I am absolutely horrible at conversating, conversating, conversing in this game. I can't converse my way through a paper bag. Uh, so he told me, told someone else, and I overheard through the vents to meet Van Bruggen in the Alice Garden Pods. So, that'll go pretty well, I think. I hope. As long as I don't have to... As long as I don't have to go through a long chain of conversation, because, you know, that never goes well. Honestly, I always laugh at myself in the playbacks, because it's just... Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> I'm so bad at that. I'm so bad at this game. What? I can't go over here? Oh. I'm supposed to turn over there. Well, how was I supposed to know that? What, over here? Yeah, over here. Just look at all these guys. Oh, man. Tra Traversing the back streets of new cyber China. That's essentially what it is. Look at all these guards. What are they Man, what are they chilling around here for? Wow. Here we go. Here we are. Oh, and is this one of like the capsule hotels? Because that's actually really cool. I've never been able to stay one, but I assure you, if I did go to the east, I'd, I'd stay in one of those just to say that I did. <laughs> Reception. Oh, alright. So, uh, doesn't look good. Yes, yes. Beds on second and third floor. Showers and laundry in basement. You want to talk? This, uh. I feel like I'm gonna have to come out of this one shooting, honestly. I thought there might be something back there. Sorry. <laughs> I don't know. It's just like every time I see one of those, I feel compelled to look. Man, this place is trashy. You're doing a horrible job. Not even moving that paper. God! What are they paying for? God! Jensen. I. Oh, hey. I was on my way out. What are you doing here, Malik? I told you I got this one. I know. I, I didn't do anything. Trust me. Van Bruggen's all yours. Hang on a second. Something's wrong. What is it? Why are you here? It's nothing. I mean, can't a girl have secrets? Um... Concern. Of course, but I can tell something's bothering you. And I'm concerned. What's going on? I just... I just had to look into something. For a friend. She... She deserved better. I'm listening. Fine, since you're so damn curious. <laughs> Years ago, I used to live here, remember? Yes. My friend, my best friend, Evelyn. She was like a sister to me. Hmm. Made living here fun. But then there was an accident. She... She's dead. I'm sorry, Malik. Wait, Jensen, let me finish. I thought I was okay with it, but... I know. I know she didn't just die. She was killed. Murdered. Her damn scumbag boyfriend did it. I know he did. Side quest! She was in trouble right from the start, but she just wouldn't listen to me. Malik, easy. If your friend was murdered, the police would have suspected something. They would have investigated. 
That's just it. There was no investigation. Hmm. They said she fell down a flight of stairs like it was some kind of freak accident. But her wounds, the way she died, they don't add up. It's right here in the damn blood spatter analysis. Blood spatter? You've seen the police report? Yes. A friend left a copy of it in a pod here for me to pick up. Listen, I know it sounds crazy, but I think... I think there's been a cover-up. I just have to prove it. Mm. If I can get my hands on the autopsy report, the one that never surfaced, I know I'd get the truth. Except... Why do I suspect I'm about to get dragged into something? Look, Jensen, I'm sorry. I know Van Bruggen is the priority here. And I told you it was my business and I could take care of it. It's just... The more I think about it, the more I realize I'm in over my head. I'm just a pilot. I'm not a damn cop. But I need to know the truth. Well, I don't have time to hear about the details. Ah, oh, what the heck? Screw you, AVG! Um... Nobody has time for this shit! Except... Okay, I'll help. What do you need me to do? My lead. He works for Lim. He's a systems technician who apparently has access to their entire database. He's willing to hand over a copy of Evelyn's autopsy report. So you want me to meet him and get the report? Is that it? Yes, but he'll only respond to a certain phrase. Death and life have their determined appointments. To which he'll reply, riches and honors depend upon heaven. Christ, Malik, this is going to sound like something out of a bad spy movie. Sounds much better in no, Chinese. You, he's just trying to protect break. himself. I didn't pick the damn quote. So just play along and remember the line, okay? You'll find him inside the lobby of the Lower Hengsha Lim Clinic. Does this guy have a name? None that I know of. But he apparently goes by the handle Anonymous X. Oh. Anonymous X. Okay. That's almost bad. It's Mr. I. Yeah, Ugh. Everything concerning Evelyn's incident, newspaper articles, the police report, limb or details, Ed all Nigma. Pod zero, zero, 009 here in the hotel. You should read over everything if you can. Pod 9. Got it. I need to go. Contact me with any updates and... Thank you. I really appreciate this, Jensen. Yeah, no problem. So is this... It is technically a side quest. Back to the main quest for you guys. I will do that off camera and I will let you know how that goes. All right. All right. So yeah, I don't know why, but like every protagonist in every game somehow manages to get dragged into stuff they doesn't want to be dragged into. I wonder if this Chinese actually makes sense. I hope it does. Because if it didn't, then... This would be very... Someone who actually did understand Chinese would be very strange. Hey! Forget it, man. You're not my type. This isn't a booty call, Van Bruggen. This is about you and some friends of yours I met in Detroit. Detroit? Yeah, okay. I got it now. You had Seraph, right? You were there when I had to pull the plug. So you admit it. You were running a mole. The heck, man. Just the heck. Worst decision I ever made taking that gig. Because you can obviously see. You attack my people, Windmill. He's got the weirdest you accent I've, I've ever you heard. What you know. Damn, boy. I've got no allegiance to that backstabbing bitch who hired me. Especially after she painted a target on my back. The girl you want is Zhao Yun Ru, Tai Young Medical CEO. Really? Tai Young Medical? They're Sarah's biggest competition. How do you think they got that way? Zhao doesn't like competition, see? I can't pin his accent at all. It's really weird. Blackmail, extortion, anything she can do to destabilize him. No offense, but Sarif was just the latest in a long line. You got any proof of this? There's a surveillance recording in the Tai Young Tower. I stashed it on the server in case I ever needed an insurance policy. Not a very smart place to hide it, seeing as you don't work there anymore. Things got hot before I could move it. 
And now I got you to get it for me. <laughs> of course, you can't just walk into that place. You're gonna need an employee card encoded with your biometrics to use the TYM shuttle. Great. Let me guess. You're gonna tell me where to get one. Hey, I'm always prepared. There's a certain security guard likes to dabble with the ladies. <laughs> You'll find him at the Hong Hua Hotel top floor corner room. Sneak in, snatch the card while he's otherwise engaged, and bring it back here so I can code it with the biometrics in your passport. I was there when you flatlined that mole Van Bruggen. You think I'm gonna trust you? You have to if you want that evidence. Now run along, Sarif man. And don't get Great. too distracted watching the action. Great. Great. <laughs> More sneaking. And perhaps fighting. That'll get my ass kicked on. So the guy in Capsule 143 had this locked door open. Yeah, so I couldn't help but sneak a look inside. And? And? He had so much stuff lying around. It's incredible. I could have snatched an Eve over two, but I held back. Oh, you should have. At least then we'd have some juicy reading material for today. Interesting. So interesting. Um, yeah. And it's time that we as a species stepped up to make things better. So I guess it's our best chance at doing this is to modify ocean temperatures through a combination I guess it's not quite like a pod hotel. It's pretty close though. But many people believe that your Arctic Ocean installation is more risk than certainty. Ah. Man, can't fall from any distance. You just automatically die. I should probably... I should probably get that augment, the one that prevents falling damage. Then I could jump off things all willy-nilly and it wouldn't matter. I should probably do that. Maybe the next time I get some Praxis points. Alright, sorry I'm not too incredibly talkative today. Um, yesterday I actually had a f had the flu, um, it was just like a 24 hour thing, so I, I'm about 90% better now, but you know, I'm, I'm still kind of tired. So I'm not quite all here today. But you know. I figured maybe you'd like to see something today if you were bored. Huang Hua Hotel. Bow chicka bow wow. This looks like a house of ill repute. Sorry, but for the service you want, you damn well better believe I'm getting my full amount of credit. Make my rent this month. Join the club, sweet pea. Sure, I'll take those. Shoes. Not that. I didn't want that. I wanted this. Oh, it's just an ebook. I thought it was a. Hack. Hacking things all willy nilly. Hmm. Ow, balls. Hmm. 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 I'm getting the hang of that now. It's not too bad. Shoes. Why would shoes really be that valuable? Oh my god. Fuck. 
Fifty percent? Oof. Oh yeah, no, no, okay, I got you. I got this. It's good. Access granted. We're all right. <laughs> Turn you off. I wouldn't go upstairs if I were you. Why not? Wait, don't tell me. Me and Edgar going at it again? Yep. And you know what that means. Yep. Hmm. So, you want best in the city? You come to right place. Look on computer and see for yourself. Bye. Bye. Oh, things. A silencer. Hmm. Sniper rifle, machine pistol, double barrel shotgun. Wow. Things. I like things. I don't have much money, but I like things. Info. I like that. Buy that. Laser targeting system. Sell. Um. I have things to sell. I think I do. Trank rifle. Thought I did. Anyway. Hmm. Maybe I don't. Oh, machine pistol ammo. Yeah. Yeah. You make me poor. Deal with you no fun. <laughs> well, you know, I do what I can. What the hell is down there now? Jeez. Jeez, this place. Anywho, I'm running out of time, so I'm gonna go get upstairs and examine. Oh, no. Combine with that. Yeah. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh, don't tell me I left my purse in there with May. Hey, mister, you think you could go in there and pretend to be a customer? It might break up the fight. Working girl. I, told you, I am not getting arguments. Not for, for this. Oh, May, do you have a customer? Get to work. Sup? My apologies, sir. I was not aware May had a client waiting. Yeah, well, you know. Okay, purse. 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 I'll take that. This was a... You're not a customer, are you? Nope. What makes you say that? The way you move. Your attitude. <laughs> and what's my attitude? Police. Or soldier. Someone on business. So why are you here? I heard your argument. What was that all about? They want me to get augmentations for the customer's pleasure. It's sick. I quit before I ever let them touch me. Sounded like they don't consider it an option. They don't. I am lucky, I guess. I've been here the longest. It has advantages. But the new girls, they're not so lucky. What do you mean? They are forced to get augments. It's very bad. One of the girls who work here, Ning, she has been gone for days. I fear they took her and will force hmm. her to get augmented. You seem... you seem like a good man. I am desperate. Please, can you help? I can pay you. Yeah, <sighs> sure. Okay, I'll help your friend. Thank you. I knew I was right about you, Mr... Jensen. 
Mr. Jensen, I fear there's little time. You must find Ning before they leash her with augments. Leash her? Yes, they call it that. They leash their girls with augments to keep them under control by supplying new ah, cuisine. That makes sense. I do not know where they keep Ning, just that it is somewhere in Dagong district. A specific location would help. I tell you, I do not have one. But there is a bouncer here, Chuan Li. He works with these people. He will know where Ning is. He goes to the roof to smoke often. Look for him there. You might be able to convince him to reveal the place. Anything else you can give me? Yes. The men holding Ning. They most likely work with local triad gang here. Great. The harvesters. If you look for some of them around, maybe you find Ning better. Got it. Noted. So did I pick up a purse? Yeah, that's, that's why the hell I came in here in the first place. Not to get another side quest. Those are cigarettes. No. Oh, you're gone. Oh, there you are. Ever since Ning went missing, May has been on the warpath. Hark! Woo! That's strange looking. Uh oh. Oh god. Access denied. Shit. <sighs> Pole dancer. So this is weird techno music though. Huh. I swear, these take forever. They feel like they take forever. It's only like 20 seconds, but jeez. Okay. 50%, 70%, 70 90%. Oh, man. Access granted. Okay, there we go. All right. You were awesome, baby. Oh, thanks, sweetheart. Oh, hey. Jensen, you got any news yet? You know I hate being left in the dark. Yeah, I found Van Bruggen. Looks like the Tai Young Medical Corporation hired him and the Mercs to destabilize us. Yeah, I guess I could have done that. They already have the lion's share of the global augmentation market. Why use Van Bruggen? In order to get that share. Hopefully I'll be able to prove it once I get this smart card back to Van Bruggen. You need backup, let me know. Some think it's the end of us all. Others think it's going to lead us to paradise. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, it seems like a good place to stop. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like it extra much, I hope you leave a like, subscribe, and comment. Now, I hope you'll join me for the next video of Deus Ex Human Revolution and anything else that I uh, want to show you guys. So, in the meantime, don't forget to, you know, give me any suggestions if you feel like I should play anything. So, until then, stay frosty.